I've read quite a few articles over the years saying that it's all about 10,000 hours of practice. If you practice those 10,000 hours, you'll be a very good violinist. But I think for music and sports, there's still some talent and natural instinct and a gift. I was four years old when I first performed in front of an audience. By the time she was nine, she obtained her diploma in music. The uh, professor said that if there was only one thing she should do, she should be a violinist. I'm Madeline Go and I'm 10. I was four years old when I first performed in front of an audience. Most of the time I'm not nervous before I go on stage. I think of how big the audience would be and I get more excited. <laughs> Some kids, when they come for lessons or do master classes, they're really perfect. Like, they don't miss notes, nothing goes. But suddenly when they step on stage, everything just flies out the window. You're like, is that the same child? For Madeline, it, it actually can be reverse almost. When she gets on stage, you kind of know that what you get is what you're going to see on stage, if not even better. She has no fear, and I think that's, that makes her a very gifted performer. This is um, Pagani number 16 out of the 24 caprices. Take me three to four days to memorize it. I like Pagani because um, it's like it's very technical, so and it's a bit of, like a challenge. It's hard to be good in music. Those people who are in good music, they are like very high standard. I like music because when I close my eyes and listen to it, I can imagine a story. If they are playing a very loud and angry part, maybe I see a giant angry walking through or like destroying a city. Maybe if it's a calm part, then maybe a swan on the lake. Beethoven is more emotional. Um, Mozart is more elegant. When I play Mozart, I can imagine um, like people dancing in the ballroom. I'm a scientist, my wife's a homemaker. When I look at their scores, all I see are lines and dots. I don't know how to read music. <laughs> Where um, Adeline's talent comes from, um, I think it comes from God. Madeline was around one. Her older sister, Mattia, was already playing the violin. So uh, every time Mattia puts down her violin in the middle of practice, Madeline will rush for it and then she'll try to grab the ball up. But we always stop her before because the instruments are very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so we enrolled her in uh, Baby Beats at Wogan Violin Studio. And so it was uh, the teachers there who noticed that you know, she was progressing quite fast. And that's when uh, we thought that she had a talent for it. Within five years, by the time she was nine, she obtained her diploma in music. F. B. 
flat D D flat In 2013, we all went along with Mattia for the Cambridge International String Academy that was held in the Trinity College in Cambridge. The two of them, at 13 years old and 6 years old, were the youngest participants that year. The professors realised that Madeline could play, and so they invited her to have lessons with them, even though she wasn't officially enrolled. Uh, they even let her play in the closing concert. On weekdays, most of the time I wake up at 6.20. Why is the introductory paragraph important? Like, it's kind of like the summary of the whole story. Yes. School starts at 7.30 okay. a.m. and it ends at 1.40 p.m. Bye. 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 And then after school, I read, normally I reach home around like 2.15. And then I'll start biting at 3. I practice like three to four hours, so around seven. After dinner, I, I still I have to sleep early for school, so I still do homework. And if I have free time, then I can draw or do gym at home. I have a lot of friends in school. I like to ask what they do after school. Most of the time, it's the same answer. <laughs> Go home, sleep, watch TV. <laughs> and I talk to my friends, because like, they don't really know music, so they find it a bit boring. Hello. Was it good today? OK. I think I'm the strict parent, yeah. he's the fun parent. <laughs> I'm the one who is in charge of helping Madeline organise her time. It is actually quite hard for her to uh, sit down and practise. It's a struggle for her. <laughs> if we don't check on her, she can be reading a book and practising at the same time. Her violin will be on her shoulder, the book will be on the floor, and she'll be turning the pages with her feet. Um, when I was younger, I wasn't very happy to practice. But yet she wants, she wants to excel in it. She wants to be good in it. So we have to help her realise her dreams. Once a week, Madeline has individual violin lessons with mainly at Wolfgang Violin Studios. Min was a child prodigy uh, when she was young. She entered Yale School of Music at 14 years. So she understands the sacrifices and hard work that a young violinist would have to put in. Great, Madeline. It's getting a little bit more secure, so I think you'd definitely be working on that. Okay, so this comes four times. Let's play around a little bit with it. Okay, that's good, but even strong for the... I like my teacher man a lot because she likes to describe a scene, like it's happy, then she'll say, Imagine rabbits hopping around, or like someone is crying. Also, these grace notes kind of a little bit more fun to them, like little pixies. I think she's very impressive because like she has a lot of achievements when she was very young already. I think I want to be like her. Can 
Currently, Madeline is training for the year-end national piano and violin competition. In 2015, she competed in the junior category. This year, she's going to try um, the intermediate category. The intermediate category is for um, children up to 15 years old, so she's the youngest participant. Uh, she's going to play uh, pieces by Sarah Sate, Beethoven, uh, Bach and uh, Wienowski. These pieces are played by uh, adults or soloists. It is quite challenging for her because um, three of the pieces she just picked out in June. I think you will not find many five-year-olds who run to the violin and want to practice every day. The early years is probably, you'd probably do need a parent behind pushing. I mean, all of them did have it. Lang Lang has it, his dad, his dad is famous for it. Sarah Chang had a dad. I think all the great artists, Yasha Heifetz's dad was famous, Mozart's father, Beethoven, they all had fathers pushing from behind the scenes. But I think it's very important by the time a child is around 12 or 13, the child's passion and love of it has to take over because there's only so far you can push. Okay, Madeline, so I think we're done for today. Sounding really good. Just keep working on the intonation. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
and close to my sister Matia. Matia understands what I talk about. Because, you know, my secrets are sometimes weird. And if I tell my friend, they may think, they may not even understand. I was very sad when she left. She's not here. So I do everything. Plus, I feel I should do more violin. Like, I should focus more. It's finally December holidays. I feel very excited because Matia is coming back. I have three and a half weeks with her until school starts again. <laughs> and I have like a whole list of things to do with her. And just because I miss the, the time, like we just lie on the bed and talk and then laugh. Switch up, I can We are blessed to have two gifted daughters, but at the same time, it is financially taxing. Because there are the lesson fees, there's the, 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 the violin fees, um, the musical instrument, um, uh, the master classes, and then uh, we, we pay for the accompanist, pianists, you know, when they practice. We just have to watch our expenses, and we try to be frugal. So will you fly away or something? Like that, yeah. And leave us alone. <laughs> when you grow up. If I want to be a soloist, I have to. Hopes and dreams for Madeline is similar to the sister, Matia. It's like we want them to be able to uh, do something they enjoy. We don't want them to be in some job that they're just waiting for the weekend to do what they actually love. Is there this spot for me? Let's see it. <laughs> Can I see her running case? Why are so many people out already? Maybe those people... Okay, she's okay. waiting that side. <laughs> <laughs> She, once she saw me, she started running. And once I saw her, I also started running. We were both running. And we had... Hello. And then I just jumped onto her. I'm Mathia, and I'm Madeline's older sister. Uh, we're seven years apart. Last time, before I went to Oberlin, I was very focused on practicing, so she would come into my room to play. I said, get out! <laughs> I need to practice. But then I went to Oberlin, and after a few months of not seeing her, like, only through FaceTime. So when I came back, I just spent more time with her. <laughs> going to Universal Studios and I'm very, very excited. I think it's been one year since I went there. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's just the two of us today. I feel it's more exciting when it's just her and me. We run around everywhere and go wherever we want. Oh, here. Madeline. Okay. Smile like him. Madeline and I, we do the same thing so we understand each other. Can take the violin on it? It is a lot of hard work to grow as a musician, especially in Singapore. Here, music and the arts isn't something so seen as important is more like extracurricular. If you want to do well in something else like music, you have to put in your own time outside of school. Also, you get bored from on music. No. 
No. Why, why would I get bored though? I don't know. Like, no? It's, it's what I want to do. It, it felt like the best day ever because it's been a long time since we spent time together. Matthew's opinion is important to me because when I grow up, if I want to follow her footsteps, it's kind of like some tips for me. I hope that she chooses music because it would be it would be really great to do it professionally together. At the end of the day, I would support her no matter what she chooses. I'm aiming to be a professional violinist, but I'm not sure yet. That adjustments from being a child prodigy to a really to a really mature artist is quite a difficult transition. That instinct has to be backed up with knowledge. Without knowledge, over time that instinct starts to fade and the prodigy may become less and less impressive as they get older. It's not a, it's not a sprint, but rather it's a marathon all the way through till your late teens, early 20s to fully develop. It's important to see not just the prodigy, but the person behind the prodigy a complete person that really loves music. And whether these kids grow up to become musicians or not, that's something entirely different as well.